just so fun. much, so much to cut in this one, man. So much, <laughs> so much, so much, so much. Yeah. Like, concentrate, concentrate on N host stuff because that can will... come back to bite us. All right, welcome everybody to the second episode of uh, Nhost v Weekly Vlog. As always, I'm sitting here together with Nuno. Nuno, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We're we're trying out a new format today. I think hopefully you and I are both press like we are present at the same time on the video instead of you know flickering back and forth. I can see both of us. So. Yeah. I guess I guess we are. I was thinking we do a recap of last week before we start with uh, with this week. As I mentioned last time, I did a, a new view when you created a new NOS project. So when you create a new NOS project now, uh, on the left side, you have question form uh, with two questions, I think, right now. And um, the answers are that we got from those are quite obvious. People are building either hobby projects or testing NOS out. And uh, they're building, they're usually doing it with React or Next.js. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, we also published a Next.js example repository last week. You can use that to, to get up and started quickly with nhost. Yeah, those are some of the things I was doing last week. No, no, you were handling some bugs and stuff. Yeah, so I, I half of the week I was out uh, because I had to, uh, but the remaining of the week I basically fixed some bugs that that we found in our in our infrastructure. I also started looking into the changes that we needed to do to the CLI to support Azure Azure Backend Plus version two. And that was pretty much it. I actually just opened the pull request this mo morning. And it was so quick because I did that investigation last week. So cool. And uh, we we also was uh, on the Hazara conference. Yeah, I saw it. I I think it was okay. No, no, not just okay. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. No, it was okay. It was I wouldn't good. say it was good. It was okay. Um, but but after we had the. Uh, we had the Hasura after party thing. I don't think they recorded that one. It uh, was just live streamed. Basically, all the speakers speakers were there. I think I don't know twenty speakers or so, and uh, trying to have a conversation like an after party conversation. And I always find these Zoom calls where you just chill out, and there's twenty or thirty people in the group. They they never work. Of course, they don't. It's weird. The, the usual after parties at conferences, you see silos where people are just chatting, like in small groups. It, it's a weird dynamics if you have that many people in one Zoom call. Yep. It goes against our evolutionary biology. I feel it's very awkward in these situations. It's 20 or 30 people present and there's one conversation going on. Last week, I saw this company. They got... Uh, 35 USD million in seed round. And they do that. They do software tooling for online conferences, which is sounds weird to me because I see that as something that we need now, but will it be here uh, in five years from now? Um, no, it doesn't make so sense. Like, we, like these online stuff, you should just record it on YouTube and, and uh, publish it. And then people can watch it in their own time. For me, it's more about when this, when the coronavirus situation is over, which will be over eventually at some point. I hope that people get out again and that we mm. can be together on a physical setting. I'm like doing conferences online it just doesn't make any sense in my mind. And it I seems agree. that everything is turning online because of the current situation. But uh, I don't know to which extent that's going to make sense in two or three years from now. So. It makes sense that you that people are trying it out. Like they have a offline conference, and then they're trying to do that online. I'm just gonna uh, finish off with uh, with this tweet I, I sent you from Nasim Taleb. The main function of a conference is to get a job, find love, corner potential customers during parties, or get a subsidized or tax efficient vacation. Content is merely a side effect. Online conferences need something like something else. Okay, this is May 15. Yeah. I think he sums it up quite well. Cool. Right. So, um, but nevertheless, the Hazara conference was great. I mean, there was a lot of good talks. We got a lot of value out of it. Overall, very good. This was just a criticism to on online conferences in general. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's jump to the next segment, and uh, we will try to do a little bit of a transparency report. So some quick figures. Our MRR uh, is at uh, I think one hundred and twenty dollars a month right now. 
As you can see, uh, we didn't see much growth uh, during January, February, and March. That's uh, mainly because me and Uno was at Antler, not working too much on the product. But now we see some growth again, so that's good. The NPS score is at 10 right now, which is not good. We definitely need to... But we know what we need to work on. We have a new design coming up. We need to update the documentation. We need to create more examples, projects, make it easier for people to get started, basically. Anything else we can be transparent about? How many cups of coffee we drink? Oh, we can tell how many people were on the console last week. So we had 39 active users last week. Uh, logging into the Enos console. Mm -hmm. All right, anyway, so there's a lot to work on. But still, we're in the right direction and we're working hard every day trying to make the best out of it. Like, why do you think we have such a low NPS score? No, no. Why? Yeah, but it's a good question. Why don't we have a, a higher NPS score? Like, what, what is it uh, that our users don't like? Like, what, what do they want? should send an email to these people who gave a little bit of a lower score and just ask for advice. I, th I will do that. Yeah. So uh, this week, it's Monday morning here, uh, or Monday morning in the Azores, I guess, and uh, lunchtime in Sweden. I'm actually working on the new landing page to get the new landing page up and running. Mm -hmm. It's super nice. We're going to work on uh, the new console design and we need to work on the documentation. The documentation is outdated. It needs to be up updated. Do we need to do something with the uh, JavaScript SDK? Anything in particular you're thinking about? No, I saw that there's some, I think it was LU. I'm not sure if it was LU. But he asked about the fact that previous version, we could send the username, but we can't anymore. It's, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. I think that's in our end host documentation that where that is stated the documentation on the uh, on github for the nosjs sdk is updated okay okay yeah i use the username as just an example but uh, if there's something that we should sync between the sdk and azure backend plus two we should also do that mm, yeah no th that is uh, that is done already so the JS sdk is working and this weekend i was working on uh, two providers as well that you can use in react to get authentication and uh, sort of a, an apollo provider up and running very quickly with nhost so your app knows if your user is logged in or logged out and also very super easy to access uh, the graphql api with queries mutations and subscription but there are some bugs there so that i need to sort out maybe i'll show that later this week or next week I will most likely jump into the console design as well, but I would like to, first and foremost, I will deliver the CLI today. I will publish the new version of the CLI with a fix to work with uh, Azure Backend Plus version 2. And I also want to start looking into storing customers' logs somewhere. because We have a feature in the pipeline to work in the UI so that we can present the logs for, I don't know, maybe the past five or five, 10, 15, 20 days, so that customers know a bit better what's going on under the hood. And for that, we, we need to have a way of storing logs. And, and of course, it has to be performing because that there's going to be just so much data there produced by all the containers for every project. Yeah, I guess that, that's going to take me a few days. So I will most likely fill my, the majority of my week this week. Getting the logs working is, is, is more than a few days, I, I'd say. I'm, I'm usually the time optimist here. No, no, I, I mean more discovery and coming up with a small prototype, not the final production version as I see it. And that's going to okay. definitely take a, a lot more. Several days. Yeah, many, 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 many days. Many days. Cool. Uh, great week. Looking forward to it. All right, I'm going to leave it to that. So thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Have a good one.